once you have signed in to your Stonex demo platform, this is what the beginning screen will look like. Once we are in, I will go ahead and show you all some of the basic functions and features within the Stonex platform, just to give you a little bit of an introduction um, for people that are new to the platform so they can understand how it works. So first and foremost, to the left, we have the workspaces. As you can see, there are three that it will typically start with, which is the home, the quote board, and the options workspace. You can go ahead and add newer pages down below. As you can see, I've done right here. I added this home one. You can either duplicate or add a completely custom one. Go ahead, click add page and below you can duplicate these ones or you can do a completely empty page. So let's go ahead and do an empty page. Workspace. <clears throat> go ahead, type in the name, put the little shortcut that it will represent as shown right here and click OK. So now it gives you a list of everything that you can add within the workspace. You can add a chart, quotes, and etc. Go ahead and select which you would like to add. Go down below, look up the market you are looking for. We'll do MES to start. click on the contract and it should load it right up. Now let's say you would like to duplicate the page. You start out with this standard home workspace. You will not be able to duplicate this as it is locked and it is the standard workspace that comes with the platform. So you cannot remove these, you cannot affect these. These will just have to stay in place. For now, if you want to keep track of your main workspace, you can just click and hold slide it to the top. So now you have your main workspace right here. As you can see right here, these are different tabs that are added within the chart that you can swap through. Let's say you want to remove them, you can go ahead and click on this X button right here. Let's say you want to add a new one, you can click right here. Click on the specific one that you would like to add. If you would like to add something you previously had, you would click on these two right here. Or you can go down add a new one, double click, and it should pull that up. And let's say you want to switch it over to ES, go ahead and click on that. Keep in mind within this specific platform, ES will be labeled as EP. So go ahead, click on EP. There's a little arrow right here that will show you all the futures front months. So at the moment, we are running on the December, which should actually expire soon. So <clears throat> we'll go ahead and click on the March. Now, if you would like to customize your chart, you can go ahead and right click on the chart go to study on candles to add different indicators. And these are all the indicators. And you can also type in to search for them. Let's say you want to add a volume. Double click. Single click and then go down below and click on add. Now it will add it within the chart right below. Let's say you want to remove it. Right click. Go all the way down to remove. Let's say you want to change the specific time. Click on this little arrow right here. It'll show you one minute to 60 minutes, daily, weekly, monthly. And if you have a custom amount that you would like to add, you can add that right here in custom. Click OK and it will apply. Let's say you want to change the bar types. Click on this right here, and it will show you the different types of bars.
let's say you want to remove specific labels or values on the charts, you click on this arrow right here. This is also another form of adding indicators and different things on your charts. These are different options that you can add. And these are the indicator buttons right here. So it's just shortcuts to that, but you can also right click and do the same thing when you right click on the chart. This button right here will pull up the buy sell market buttons, as you can see. The amount of contracts you can select, and these are presets. So let's say rather than clicking up five times, you just click on this specific. Now, down below that, it comes with a preset quotes manager. So you can add different quotes that you want to have in view without having to actually type in the symbol to load it up. So let's say you want to open up a new chart, right click on the specific symbol, go up to chart and click on chart and it will load up a chart. Let's say you want to get rid of that and you don't want that. Click on X and it'll get rid of it. Let's say you want to remove a specific quote that's on the quote manager. Right click, go to remove, and it will delete it off of your list. Also do keep in mind you can also buy and sell there as well, right here. Now down below, it will have a list of account summary, positions, orders, orders working, fills. If you would like to close something because it is not useful to you in the standard setup, go ahead, like before, click on X to remove it. If you would like to add a new one, click on plus. If you scroll right here, you will see everything that you are able to add. Orders working, orders, purchase and sales, positions, account summary, account summary graphic, etc. And then you have a little bit more down here. You want to add something, go ahead, click one time, and then we'll add it right in. As you can see, it added account summary. Let's say you want to remove the quote manager, or at least free up some space, you can click on the fine line in between the two. You'll, you will see a drag option. Click and hold, move up. Now you can see more information regarding this. To the right, you have your Superdome, the buy market, sell market, how many contracts, pre-selected contract. Let's say you want to set up a custom bracket order. Go ahead, click on OCO, the arrow beside it. Click on bracket mode to activate it. And it will be pre-set up with a certain number of ticks going up and down. Click on the arrow to set up your own custom amount. Click on custom parameters, <clears throat> select the tick size, limit and stop, click OK. Now when you enable by clicking on bracket mode, it will activate it so the next time you place a buy market order, it will have the brackets set up. As you can see. Okay, now let's say you want to change the specific color layout of the chart setup and you want to make it a little lighter because it is too dark. Go ahead, go down below to the left. You will click on the three lines at the top 
click on preferences fourth option down below you will see as theme go ahead click on that go to light and it will update the theme of the whole platform and now you can see it in white if you would like to open a separate window that is not integrated within the page go to your main workspace click on the three dots to the right and then click on open in new window this will push out to a completely brand new page let's say you have multiple monitors and you want to extend out to different monitors now you have a whole brand new page which will replicate or duplicate the exact page that you originally had and you will be able to customize that to your liking so now let's go ahead and close that down below you want to see your account value you can click on account summary it will show your balance and everything else down below this should conclude the quick walkthrough to Stone X trading platform. If you do have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at tech at gffbrokers.com. Feel free to send all your questions to us and we will gladly assist in the best way we can. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thank you.